Okay, Agent Smith. Okay, chill, dog. What I'm saying. <laughs> the next topic is agentic AI. Where do you see that as we start to see the modernization of technology? I think agentic AI is certainly where I think everybody wants to go right now, from industry to government to various groups within industry. I think there's a lot of opportunity with some of the work that we do. I think some of the work that finance does, healthcare. There's a lot that can be done, especially as you look at certain situations where it's probably more ideal to send an agentic system than it is to send a, a human, whether that be because of ease or safety. And so I think that's going to be really critical as we think about agentic systems and where they can provide value. I think it's really interesting as we look at, you know, as we talk large language models and some of those foundational models, but now we're focused on very specific agents that do very detailed tasks and functions, and it allows us to pair those functions in multiple right. different kind of paths or implementations mm -hmm. to allow us to get different types of end results and outcomes. You know, Matt, one of the things that we think about as you think about different uses is how are you tracing not only like what the agentic system is doing, but how did it get to that point? Because I think that translation and transparency of the system is going to be really, really important as we think about some of the ethical concerns. I think there's great questions in you know the different kinds of databases or systems that agents have access to, say business functions and financial functions right. to shipping records. How do we know that the agentic model is not providing data from other data sets that the user shouldn't have access to? Yeah, that's a great point.